give us peace in our heart as we continue with this service. My father, you know us by our names. Even our lives are on your hands. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Goods of the loss of our chairman. May the Holy Spirit of God comfort the church, comfort the family members, comfort even his family. I know you are there in your throne, Lord. What happened, you know? What will happen, you know. But we want to pray in the name of Jesus. Because you are our Father and you live in heaven. We want to believe we shall find justice. Not from the court. Not from our police. Justice will come from heaven. I pray the Lord you may open your heaven for our justice. Never leave us, Lord, this hard time. Comfort us, O oh Lord, for we are your children. As we are your one, Lord, I want to believe the man of God who is going to minister your word. The one who touched our lives and the Holy Spirit of God will come from heaven and then encourage our souls. And this we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To be given a coffee as we sit down in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to say a few words before. I invite the speaker. Church is a very sad morning for the loss of our son and also church chairman, Mr. Willis. The group police mandar when he was trying to unite people in demonstrations at the Chuka town. Me as a pastor, I have lost my son and also a visionary Linda in the church. Mutube Baptist. Not only Mutube alone, but also in our entire family, because Willis is son to my sister Purity. I want to say this because justice may not prevail through court or on judge all police. But me, as a servant of God, I believe we shall have justice from our Lord who is in heaven. Nothing I can say, but I want to say this. The time we serve with the Willis He was a visionary Linda. The short time that he has served, a period of three months, he has changed many things in the church. And because I know we serve the living God, we as our prayer. <coughs> justice will prevail. 
Amen. Karibu sana mnenaji. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Nashukuru Bwana kwa kipindi hiki cha neno. Pia nashukuru Bwana kwa ajili ya kutuleta katika ibanda ya siku ya leo. Mimi naitwa Pastor Munene, nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Nampenda Yesu kwa ajili ya umbali ameutoa na pale ametuleta. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Nilikuwa najiuliza ni kwa nini nimeambiwa ni neno wakati kama huu mgumu. Wakati naomboleza ndugu yangu wa karibu sana ambaye tulipendana na yeye kwa undani na nilikuwa tunashukuru Bwana ni kwa sababu sisi ambao tumebaki tuko na kazi ya kufanya hapa duniani praise the name of the lord niseme kwa nafasi yangu napenda wili sana wakati tulikuwa tunaanza kuhubiri tukiwa vijana tulianza na yeye tukapoteana kidogo tumerundiana tena tulikuwa tunachapa injili na yeye alikuwa ananiita picha kila wakati na kana ikumbuka alikuwa ananiita picha na muita Willis mara mingi angekumbuka kuniita pastor ni kwa sababu alikuwa amezoea kuniita picha bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo niseme tumepoteza mtu wa maana sana ambaye alikuwa ametuongoza vizuri tutamumisi sana kama wazee nilikuwa naangalia vile tulikuwa tunafanya maandalizi ya kula mbuzi na wazee alikuwa anatufanyia kazi mzuri hapa kanisani alikuwa kiongozi wa busala kwa hivyo tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu atende haki praise the name of the lord sasa tuangalie maandiko iko ndani ya kitabu ya lamentations 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 imepakana na jeremaya lamentations chapter number 3 nitasoma vifungu kidogo hapo na bwana wa manjeshi atatupia nguvu lamentations ni kitabu ambacho kimeandikwa na jeremaya Anaandika hiki kitabu katika wakati mgumu sana wakati wana wa Israeli wametekwa na watu wa Babilonia wamenyimwa haki wamepitia katika hali nzito wanapigwa kila kuchao hawana mambo ya kutenda Jeremiah anaamka anawaandikia kitabu hiki ili akawatie nguvu ili akawanjaze wakaweze kusonga na safari Bwana asifiwe Katika yale maandiko tulisomea ya kwanza ilikuwa lamentations 3 from verse that the four yalikuwa anasema Bwana Yesu ananjua wakati mioyo yetu iko chini wakati tumenyimwa haki ananjua wakati haki imekosekana hata katika koti Bwana ananjua that the seven ilikuwa inasema the will of the lord alone is always carried out good and evil alike take Praise at this command. Bwana asifiwe. Maandiko yipo inatuambia wakati tunapitia katika hali nzito Bwana ananjua. Bwana asifiwe sana. Nilikuwa natafakari njana ninauliza Bwana kulikuwa na waandamanaji wengi, kulikuwa na watu wengi wanashangilia ni kwa sababu gani ni yule alichaguliwa. Bwana asifiwe. Nilikuwa namuuliza kulikuwa na watu wa madhehebu tofauti, kulikuwa na watu ambao hata kanisani hawaendangi kulikuwa na watu hata Mwenyezi Mungu awamjui ni kwa nini alichagua kanisa letu Bwana asifiwe nilikuwa nauliza kulikuwa na watu wengine hata wana familia hata wana namna ni kwa sababu gani alichagua huyu ambaye ana watoto wachanga praise the name of the lord lakini maandiko yalikuwa yananiambia Bwana ananjua praise the name of the lord tunaweza tukajaribu kutafuta majawabu tunaweza tukajaribu kutafuta ni nini kilisababisha tunaweza tukajaribu kutafuta ni nini jawabu ya mambo haya lakini maandiko yanatuambia Bwana peke yake ndiye ananjua. Praise the name of the Lord. Mungu ndiye ananjua ni kwa sababu gani? Amezawandi chairman na miaka 30 peke yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mungu ndiye ananjua ni kwa sababu gani? Amechagua chairman wa kanisa letu. Haleluya. Kwa hivyo maandiko inasema Mungu peke yake ndiye ananjua. Wakati tulikuwa tunafundishwa tunaambiwa God is all knowing. Kumaanisha nothing can ever 
getting God by surprise praise the name of the Lord wewe wakati ulipigua simu ulianza kusema ngai nini siku anatarajia lakini maandiko inatuambia bwana Yesu ananjua yeye akushtuka hii jambo alijapata bwana by mistake yeye akushtuka Mungu alikuwa ananjua praise the name of the Lord bwana wakati kama huu mzito ambayo mioyo yetu ni mizito ambayo tunaomboleza ambayo hatuwezi tukainuka tumwabundu bwana ananjua ni kwa sababu gani praise the name of the lord na maandiko inasema hivi mapenzi ya bwana ndiyo utimia kila wakati praise the name of the lord labda kwa 